Hello class 9 students, greetings of the day. I, Muhammad Zishan, welcome you to the online classes of Bloomingbird's Squad School. Today we are going to study second chapter of civics book. The name of the chapter is Salient Features of the Constitution. In last chapter we studied about the Constitution. We studied what was the need of the Constitution and uh, what actually constitution is and uh, we also study about a brief history of constitution making about the uh, draft draft uh, drafting committee and uh, in this lecture we are going to study about some of the features of our constitution so the name of the chapter is salient features of the constitution Salient means uh, something uh, which makes you stand outward or uh, you can say something which make you outstanding because of its importance or prominence. So you can say here we are going to study about the outstanding features of the constitution. So which are the outstanding features of our constitution. So in our book there are three features given the first one is uh, single citizenship and second one is universal adult franchise and then third one is fundamental rights so we will study about the two single citizenship so citizenship it has been in news last year also this year also uh, one amendment act was there citizenship amendment act so now what is the meaning of citizenship citizenship means that you are the member of a country and you have uh, the basic rights which other countrymen also have right to vote right to express your dissent okay these all things makes you belo to belong to a particular country means to which country you pay your allegiance or towards which country you have your allegiance and uh, support you can say right so now in india we are having single citizenship so what does that mean why we are using this single citizenship word see unlike usa we are having citizenship in usa there is dual citizenship dual citizenship means suppose if you are living in oklahoma or ohio or washington or new york or any state of united states of america right so you will have citizenship of state also citizenship of state that is new york plus you will have citizenship of nation usa also citizenship of nation now in this you will pay or you will have the allegiance towards the nation which is usa right apart from that uh, you will have allegiance to one state comparing to the other states the states from which you belong right that state is new york right so here we are having some rights and duties some rights are given by the state some privileges are given by the state so these states may have different uh, rights okay being granted to the to their citizens right oklahoma may have another uh, so, some more rights than new york Right, likewise, uh, Ohio may have uh, other rights also, okay, and Texas may have some uh, lesser rights than New York, okay. Te Texas may, may give lesser rights to citizens than New York, or some other different different kinds of privileges you will enjoy there, okay. No other state will complain. The citizens of other state will not complain. Okay, why? The citizens of that states are enjoying more uh, liberties or more privileges than us okay so 
then you will be the citizen of nation also citizen of usa also this type of citizenship is called dual citizenship okay so we are not having this citizenship we are having single citizenship single citizenship means okay whether you are from up or uttarakhand or tamil nadu from anywhere you are right the all people will have only single citizenship one citizenship okay and that citizenship will be of india we will not say that i am citizen of uttarakhand i am citizen of tamil nadu it means that okay all people of our country enjoy same type of privileges same types of rights same types of duties okay uh, throughout the country clear that is called single citizenship so in india we are having single citizenship single citizenship uh, what is the importance of it 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 was adopted to uh, secure the integrity of india to spread fraternity among indians to spread unity among indians but still there is a lot of factionalism casteism and uh, uh, there is a hatred on the basis of religion race okay and so many things so we these all things are uh, acting as a hindrance towards achieving the goal of citizenship okay i hope that uh, we people soon will be united and will achieve the aim of the single citizenship now we will study the second feature of our constitution which is universal adult franchise which is also called universal adult franchise or universal adult suffrage universal adult suffrage now what is the meaning of this universal adult franchise universal means it 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 applies to entire universe in most of the countries it is okay adult means 18 plus right franchise means right to vote you can say right right to vote so here most of the countries have adopted this that the, the citizens of those countries those who are not lesser than 18 years of age have right to uh, cast their vote have right to cast their vote or to express their will or position uh, in selection of candidates to the parliament or various other electoral bodies that is what that is universal adult franchise so it says that all indians or all citizens of india those who are not lesser than 18 years of age have right to vote or to express their position or will in the elections of candidates to the various electoral uh institutions whether it is parliament or assembly or any local body so that is called what universal adult franchise so earlier the age limit of this was 21 year 21 year before year 1988 before 1988 means all the people those who were 21 years of age and above were able to cast their vote but there was an amendment okay there was an amendment which was 61st amendment act 61st amendment act of 1988 okay which made that case from 1989 the age for casting vote will be 18 years and above 
18 years and above, right? Means it changed, it reduced the age limit from 21 to 18 years. When? In uh, uh, 1989, by the 61st Amendment Act of 1988, which was implemented in 1989. So this was all about universal adult franchise. The third feature of our uh, salient feature of our constitution is fundamental right. And the fourth will be directive principles of a state policy, which will be in the next chapter. So, about fundamental rights, we will study in next video in detail. Thank you so much.